everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with another edition of My Damn Hauls. It's been a really long time since we had an edition of My Damn Hauls. However, I've had a lot of shish come in the mail. Now, one thing that is disappointing about this episode in particular is I can't find the goddamn trusty knife anywhere. As you guys can see, this office is a wreck. This is literally on the floor. This is not in the filming station because I can't even get to the filming station right now. It's all, I, I've, I've worked tirelessly. This is, the, uh, this is a huge project, man. Last time I moved into an office, I had a significantly lesser collection, man. This has been an eye-opening experience, and just bear with me as we attack this one day at a time, man. Once I get, like, I gotta get this finished in the next few days, or at least I gotta have somewhat of a, a resemblance of the office, so we're all over the damn place, man, but buckle the hell up as we dive into an edition of My Damn Hall. Today we have a lot of good stuff going on, I'm excited, really hyped for some stuff that we have going on, man, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into what we gotta get into. Now, first off, we have a couple items. We have a couple items here that we did, uh, that we just got in the mail that I just received. We did get another ringside exclusive Danhausen. This, uh, arrived at my old house, so it didn't arrive to this house. This is actually, um, you know, just the, the ringside exclusive Danhausen. Got another one of these. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this men on card or what, but I, I definitely have that figure. And also from Shop AEW, I did grab a one of 3,000 Shop AEW Keep On Riding Adam Page Hangman exclusive, so it's looking pretty good right there. I like that figure a lot. Very similar. I mean, I paid for the packaging, man. I mean, what do you want? Look at it right there. One of 3,000 looking pretty solid. Excited for that figure. Definitely gonna keep that one mid in the box. There's no real reason to crack it out of the packaging, I don't think. And if you guys saw our toy hunt the other day, we also got another AEW figure. It is the Target exclusive Samoan Joseph. So we did pick this up. He's got kind of baby hands going on, but we did grab another uh, Samoan. I say another, like I've owned multiples of these. Not yet. Just the first one right here. We have the Samoan Joseph from AEW right there. All right, man. So as we get into it, you guys can see we do have quite the stack of packages right here. And again, I don't have the trusty knife, so we're just going to take everything one by one, open it up, and showcase what we got here. This first package does come to us from eBay, and it, I'm pretty excited about this. You guys know, I mean, you're going to notice it immediately. What do we have here, man? We have two of the SummerSlam Dolph Ziggler WWE Elite figures. Uh, these were going for a really good deal on eBay, so I wanted to grab these. You know, it's the perfect opportunity. It's his best figure I think Mattel's ever made. So I went ahead and cashed in the Money in the Bank briefcase. I, got, I think I got these for $15 a piece. And that just seemed like a steal for me. This is going to be an every time I see it at Retail Cop. We do have the Dolph Ziggler SummerSlam Elites. And this is just beautiful. Great to have these future customs, fix-ups, things of that nature. Uh, easy money. That's that's not even a thing. I, I, I had no issues dropping that cash. And I was excited to grab those. Of course, he was released from WWE. You guys don't know. I'm a massive Dolph Ziggler guy. So that made me really happy to, of course, get those figures right there. Now, moving on. We also have an Amazon exclusive right here, and this is a two-pack. Now, how the hell am I gonna get this box open without the trusty knife? I guess we're ripping it, Brad. I guess we're ripping it. Now, this isn't the most exciting two-pack of all time, but it's certainly one that I was waiting on. It is going to be the Blackpool Combat Club. We have Mox and Brian Danielson in the gray and black, and then you do have the Mox over there, and this is pretty solid. You know, not the craziest two-pack, but a pretty cool two-pack nonetheless. I really appreciate appreciate the AEW tag team pack. So we do have this and then on the back you get a shot of both talents there. Really waiting on the hook housing. That's probably the one that I'm most excited for out of the two packs that are coming soon, but I'm really enjoying this. Really great to have this. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the packaging or if I'm going to crack them out of the box. I don't know. Men on card. I don't know. I have like every two pack men on card. I don't know if I'm going to pull them out of the packaging. We'll see about that. Of course, play that by ear, but we also have another package here. Now, this one is very exciting. Now, I have to give a huge shout-out to my man, Figure World underscore JP. Me and him made a sort of a deal. You know, he, he really wanted to help me out here, so he did send this over, but I do believe that we're going to make a transaction out of this because this was too kind to the man. Really blew my mind. So, a huge shout-out to my man right there. But wait till you guys see what figure is in here. Oh, man, I'm so excited because I've been wanting to review this figure, and now we actually have an opportunity to. And not only that, I'll get to own it in the collection and also review it. Holy crap, that took me forever to get that damn box open with no cutlery, no utensils whatsoever. Jesus Christ in heaven above Betsy. But the figure, you can't even see it, but maybe you can make it out, Brad. It is the Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam Walmart exclusive, man. Oh my God, he also left us a note to read aloud to the class. MBT Trey, hope you enjoy the Ultimate Rob Van Dam. Thank you for the years of endless entertainment you continue to provide us collectors with. Whatever you decide to send for the figure is cool. If nothing at all, want to see a review of this ASAP. Look at the spinner belt. They screwed up side plates again on all the RVDs I picked up. Huge shout out to my man Jesse. Figure world underscore JP, man. This is beautiful. I gotta get this guy out of the bubble wrap. I am nothing 
without the trusty knife. God dang. Oh my god. Dude, what a beautiful figure, man. Thank you so much to Jesse, man. We're definitely gonna hook him up there with a nice deal. This is absolutely gorgeous. Been waiting on this figure for so damn long. And I know the lighting and everything is not the greatest in this video, so I apologize for that, but damn. Or Rob Van Dam, I should say, man. This is such a beauty, man. Thank you so much to Jesse for the hookup on the RBD, man. So kind of you. I appreciate the kind words as well, and I appreciate you being a follower of the channel and being so awesome, man. Thank you so much. So what we're gonna do is absolutely review this figure. We're gonna review the Rob Van Dam. Probably gonna go up tomorrow. Very excited for that. So I actually may have a toy hunt also because we are gonna be going out of town there and I might have a little toy hunt we can go on there. So we will see about that. Of course, we'll be reviewing or uh, filming the clips and whatnot. But nonetheless, man, let's get into this final package. Now, this is also one that I'm excited for because we do have some new figures in here and they are for Marine Side Collectibles. <laughs> Get out of my face. Ugh. The first two figures are the ringside exclusive retro Takahashi figures, man. Look at these. Look how beautiful and colorful these are. They look immaculate. These are available at ringside collectibles. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. So sick of the goddamn lighting. I'm about to have a fit. But what do you expect when you don't get your shish done? Gotta get this damn office set up, man. I'm about to... Mm. I'm gonna remove my own dewadnum. The Takahashi, these figures look great. I was super excited for these, man. So classic. They look really, really good. Love all the colorful stuff going on, man. If you guys are interested in those figures, definitely go check those out at Ringside Collectibles. Use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%, of course. But you guys will see here, we do have Unrivaled 13, man. And these look so good. You got the rubber jacket on the Butcher figure. We also have a look at Sting, one of my goats right there. Look at Sting, got Unrivaled 13. That is a rubber coat. That is not cloth. Even it, you know, it looks pretty cloth there, but we have Unrivaled 13 Sting. We also have a look at Unrivaled 13 Darby Allen with the new face paint. Not, doesn't have all his tattoos on there, but it's still a really cool Darby Allen. And I, you guys know I love the damn Darby Allen figures. They feel so damn good in hand. They pose around great. Really happy for the Darby Allen. We have the other half of our tag team. We also have the Blade here and his rubber coat and stuff like that. A lot of rubber in this wave, which is what it is, but still cool nonetheless to get some new characters, even though I think that guy's going to show for him horribly. And then we also have Wardlow. And you guys know I love Wardlow. Damn, I love me some Wardlow. Dude's an absolute boss. What a beast. He's looking good. Look, look at the handsome guy right there, man. He, he is looking really good. So we got Wardlow in here to also go in on Rival 13. And then rounding out on Rival 13 is going to be none other than Danhausen. Getting another Danhausen figure in here. Really love all the Danhausens we're going to be getting soon. But this figure does look damn good, man. Interchangeable head sculpts. It's a little bit of a different gear. You got the entrance gear in there. So we're going to review these. You guys can let me know. I know mine kind of arrived late. They got stuck. So mine got stuck in like a city 45 minutes away from me for like a week. And that pisses me off. It pissed me off greatly because, you know, mine are all late now. But we're going to do reviews of all these different figures. I also never reviewed Unrivaled, uh, not Unrivaled, but Unmatched Series 7. We never got to the Death Triangle. So we really could do like a big old marathon unboxing of Unrivaled 13 and Unmatched Series 7. But we do have all of Unrivaled 13 here, which look absolutely beautiful. Really excited for that wave. I know we got some repeat characters, but at least there's some new instances to those guys. You guys know I love Wardlow, love Dan Housen, love Darby, love Sting. But we also got our RBD in there. I need to set all this up, man. We got a lot of great stuff, man. And we haven't gotten figures like this in a really long time, like back to back to back in package. So I'm excited to, uh, you know, stack everything up right here, man. It's been a minute since we got to do this. So really want to set all these up and showcase everything that we got here. I don't even know if I can get that going, but we also got our Takahashis in here. We got our two-pack here with the BCC. And then we also got our Shop AEW. A lot of AEW in here, man. A lot of AEW figures, so Shop AEW exclusive scooting that back right there, man. Look at all these damn figures we got. And then we did have our two loose Dolphs, but that is every single thing, man. And then tomorrow is when I'm going on the toy hunt, so hopefully we'll be finding some good stuff here. But so excited to make videos out of all of this. Of course, we'll be using, leaving this man on card. Uh, probably going to leave this man on card. We'll see about that. I'm going to play that by ear. Already had the Danhausen, already reviewed it on the channel. If you guys are interested, definitely go check that out. Gonna definitely leave that man on card as well. We will be reviewing Joe, so that's what I'm saying, man. If I take Unrival 13 and I take my Samoan Joseph and I get, you know, my, my Death Triangle from Unmatched 7, and then I also have the Ultimate Edition RBD, we'll get all those things in there, but October is coming soon, and we're gonna be doing a lot of horror content on the channel. That's gonna be massive box of horror figures 
horror action figure setups, maybe some matches sprinkled in there at the end of October, playing around with finishing the Tournament of the Dam from last year, kind of getting that finished up for this year and just combining the two tournaments. So we'll see about all those things, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this edition of My Damn Halls, man. Really great episode. A huge shout out to Jesse and Figure World underscore JP, man. Thank you so much for the kindness on the RVD. Can't wait to review that, man. Figure looks immaculate. One of my favorite figures that I've been waiting on. Got some questionable things about it, but of course we will have to see when we review it. But that is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below. Also, huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate their love and support. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below, of course. But always love. Shout out to them. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.